Welcome to Spring 2002 Business Math, Business 135 online class here at Highline College. Now, I already sent out the introductory letter. And in that letter, I said, be sure to study the syllabus and watch this introductory video. Now, by the time you get to this website, this will be a live link because I'm filming the video right now. Now, this is a business math class. And because out in the working world, we don't do math on a piece of paper with a pencil. We do it in Excel. The whole class is going to teach you how to do your business math using the world's greatest app, Excel. Your job on day one in this class is to watch this introductory video and study the syllabus. Now we're going to take a brief look at the syllabus. This people website where we have all the videos in Excel files, and then we'll look at Canvas. Now another amazing thing about this class is you don't have to buy a textbook. I have created all the videos, all the Excel files, and all the PDF notes, which are like a free textbook. I created them all just for you. Now we're going to start things off by going and looking at our syllabus. This is a PDF file. If you want to download it, you'd have to right click and save it. Otherwise, we just click on it, and it opens in the browser. Now this is the table of contents at the top. And you're going to study this today. But you can come back later to any sections, requirements, grading, schedule. And when you click on it, and I'm going to click on the schedule, it'll jump you right to that part of the syllabus. Now the schedule for what we're going to do in this class is not at the Canvas website. It's at the People website. This is the schedule at the end of our syllabus at the People website. And here's how it works. Week 1, week 2, week 3. It lists the dates. And these are the sections in the People website. Introduction to Excel, Math Basics, and Word Problems. These are the sections that have the videos, Excel files, and PDF notes. Now, before we even look at the rest of the schedule, I'm going to click the Back button. And there it is, Introduction to Excel, Math Basics, and Word Problems. When you click on this, this is where the videos are the Excel files, and the PDF notes. Now I'm going to click the Back button. Then I'm going to click on the Syllabus. Then in the Table of Contents, I'm going to click on Schedule. So there's Week 1, the dates. There's that section over in the People website. And here in the Schedule, it lists the videos that you should watch and study, completing all the Excel examples. And then in this column, lists the quizzes and tests. So for Week 1, there's quiz 00, and this is an attendance quiz that has one question. You just have to go and click it and answer that one question, yes. And you have to do this before noon, Friday, April 8th. If you don't complete this attendance quiz, you'll be dropped from the class. This is in accordance with Highline's online attendance policy for online classes. Then the fun part. After you've studied all this, there's quiz one. And you got to complete it before midnight, Sunday, April 10th. Week two, there's the dates. That's the section in the People website. There's three videos to study. And this week, we have a test. And it's an Excel math test, which I'll email you. It's just going to be an Excel file, just like the one that you use to work in while you study the videos. That'll be emailed out on Friday, April 15th at 9 AM. And you get all the way till midnight Sunday, April 17th to complete that Excel file. Now, this is just an Excel file. You work on it, save it, come back later, work on it. But then when you're done, you upload it to Canvas. And we'll look at where that link is in just a moment. Now, for the quizzes and tests, the first quiz has to be done by Friday, April 8th. But the remaining quizzes, there's one here, here, and on the next page, there's some other quizzes. Those actually can be done at any time during the quarter. What that means is there's not a due date for those. However, if you're studying Introduction to Excel, with the information fresh in your head, it's best to go take the quiz right away. The tests, however, have to be uploaded by the date time listed here. This one's midnight, Sunday, April 17th. This one's midnight 
Sunday, May 8th. If you hand a test in late, you lose 25% of the points. Unless you have a documented emergency like a hospital visit, then you send me an email and you can have an excused late test. Now I want to go look at Canvas. So when you log into Canvas with your Highline credentials on the home page, this is what you'll see. For week one, there's quiz zero, quiz one. For week two, there's the upload link for math test number one. When you're done with the test, you come here, click it, and upload it. So the quizzes and tests are listed in the home area. I'll also make announcements at least once a week, so you want to pay attention to this. And discussions. Now, discussions are not required for this class, but if you have a question about what you're working on with math and Excel from your studies with the video, you click this link, click in Reply, you type your question, and very importantly, you attach your Excel file. It's much easier and much quicker for me to give you an answer when you give me the question and the actual Excel file you're working on. Now, this discussion area is not for questions about tests or quizzes. If you have questions about tests or quizzes, then you send me an email directly. There's also a grading section. Quiz 0 and the four tests all have a due date time. The other quizzes do not. Now let's go back to our People website. Now let's go look at Introduction to Excel. This is the work we're going to do during week one. So when I click, every video is set up the same way. One, two, three, all the way down to seven videos for this week. There's a link for the video at the top the Excel file for downloading, and the PDF for downloading or for reading. Now, before you click on the video to watch it, you always download the Excel file first, open it, and then while you're watching the video, hitting pause, you're coming over and working in this file. Now, in the first video, I walk you through how to download the file and save it. Now I am going to click on the PDF note because these notes, you can either read them here or download them. These are a complete pictorial and written summary of everything that you see in the video. So in this PDF note, you see in this first video, I go through all the steps for downloading your Excel file and also for creating a folder that you'll use throughout the class. I'm going to click the Back button. As an important note, when you download and work inside these Excel files, when you've completed everything you've seen in the video, you do not hand these files in. It's only the quizzes and tests that allow you to get points toward your grade. Now let's go click on this, and it's going to jump us over to YouTube. Now here it is at YouTube, and of course we all know how to watch YouTube videos. You can slide it backwards and forwards, but when you watch it for the first time, you're just going to click play and watch it all the way through. However, there is an awesome feature that I set up for every single video in this class. Below the video, there's the Show More button. When you click on Show More, there's a time hyperlink table of contents. This is where you come and open this to find a topic you want to review, like move between sheets or the Quick Access Toolbar. You simply click on this time, and it jumps to that exact point in the video. Now, that's a great reference for you, because during the tests and quizzes, you're allowed to use the videos, Excel files, and PDF notes. All right, I'm going to click the Back button. I'm going to click the Back button again. When I click on the Next section, you can see it's set up exactly the same. Click the Back button. We have one or two other things we want to cover. I'm going to click on the Syllabus link. We want to click on Requirements for this class. Now, there is no textbook to buy for this class. And as was communicated in the schedule when you signed up for this class, you must have daily access to a Windows-based PC computer that fulfills these requirements. Computer must have internet connection that allows you to watch the YouTube class videos. Computer must have Excel 2013 or later for a Windows-based PC computer. Free Microsoft 365 Office with Excel that Highline provides all students is great for this class. There's a link in just a moment I'll show you for this. 
computer cannot be a Mac or a Chromebook. And the reason why is because the Mac and Chromebook are different than Windows-based computers. Because most employers require employees to use Windows-based PC computers, the business department at Highline is required to teach you on a Windows-based PC computer to match employers' demands. Now, we're going to see in just a moment how to check out a computer if you don't have these computer requirements. And if you check out a computer, you definitely want a USB jump drive so you can store all the files for this class. Also, a standard keyboard like this with a number pad and navigation keys, and most importantly, the F keys at the top. Now, this is the easiest keyboard to use. However, even I don't have access to that sometimes if I'm using a laptop. You could see the laptop is missing a bunch of the keys that are off to the side, or they're in a slightly different location. And most importantly, the F keys at the top here. To access these on many laptops, you have to press the FN or FX key. That means you hold this down and then F2 or F4 or F12. So in the videos when I say use F2 or F4 or F12, if you have this key right here, Fn or Fx, press it at the same time as you do the F keys. Now on the next page, you can get access to computers. There's a computer lab here on campus, Building 30. If you don't have access to a computer, here's the link Here's the link to a form that allows you to check out a computer. And you can ask them when you fill out this link that you want a standard keyboard also. That means you'd be checking out the computer and the standard keyboard. And if you have a computer already and just need Excel, there's the link. These are also links directly at the Highline website that you can search for. All right, I'm going to click the Back button. All right, be sure to study that syllabus and when you're done with studying the syllabus and watching this video, you go to Introduction to Excel, and there's video number one. All right, we'll see you next video, video number one.